Okay, gang, you've been wanting to know how to make a billy sander. Now I'm going to show you with this Harbor Freight six inch Can you see the wire? orbital I sander so. DA electric now sander thing. Camera, don't look yeah. I've already done it to you one, see. but I'm going to have two so that Bond O'Brien or Sideshow Chad or somebody can help me strip away on this Riviera. There, I've got the first side welded. Now I want to turn it turn completely around and weld it. Uh, directly across so that it's kind of a balanced weight you know even though it's not well, much weight it's going to add a little bit of weight right. to the uh, mechanism there, there so i want it to be first weld. Uh, about the same amount of weight and on I'm one side as the other so the Clean. two wells need to be directly across from each other so yeah. i'll put the vice grips to uh, position there. that to where i'm directly across yeah. to make the second weld and uh, I've got the welder at 100 amps, and I'm only going to weld, you know, for a, a Probably come on this side split second or a, a second and a split, you. like one one and one half or, you know, somewhere around there. I'm not going to mm -hmm. yep. hold it very long. And just a, a couple of little uh, burns on there to, to make sure that it's yeah, not going to break loose. You want me to stop the video? Yeah, let me stop the video. And here's what it looks like. You can see the a little bit of a weld on both sides, just enough to hold it. This is the Bauer electric DA sander, and I've welded the orbital bearing where it doesn't have orbital anymore. It's got eccentric, but not orbital. So let's put some 36 grit paper on it. Got speed control. We want six maximum power. Maybe five. Seems a little fast. You can see that this pad is moving up and down or going outside of the circular orbit. It is getting some specks of paint on there, but when it doesn't, when it only spins and doesn't have that eccentric motion, then you get real bad clog. That's what makes this so much better than a, a grinder type tool. And this is what makes me so much better than the average paint and body guy. I find new ways of doing things. There's no other tool, a mechanical stripping, that'll take the paint off better and faster. This is factory GM lacquer. It clogs up spinning tools, like when you put a pad on a buffer, the little chunks of paint get all stuck to the sandpaper because it doesn't have the relief of that uh, eccentric, the pad moving away from the orbit. I don't know the scientific term, but it's been billified and it works a lot better after I do all the body work and before I prime it, I'll go back over it the same way with 80 grit. Grind yourself. And don't grind plastic pieces or fiberglass pieces. Extensions on too, right? Say again? The truck extensions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The metal stuff that's connected to the metal needs to be taken off. I made quick work out of that paint. Now, you don't want to strip plastic 
pieces or fiberglass pieces like this because you'll dig ruts in them. They're not made of metal. Okay, Bondo Billy and Sideshow Chad are working hard on General Bacon's Riviera. I got all the chrome off the driver's side, except that bottom of the door strip right there. I can't open the door far enough. I'm not gonna move the car today. But all the chrome is off the side. I gotta pop that one off there, it's glued on. Chad's taking off everything across the back. We're gonna take all the plastic pieces loose from the metal so I don't hit them when I'm stripping them. We're gonna dye the vinyl top a different color, but we'll surprise you. Already stripped the hood. Did a little bit of stripping there to demonstrate. Gotta take the chrome off the bottom on this side. Take the handles, and locks, belt moldings out. This mirror, I'm gonna take it off to get the belt molding out, but I'm gonna put the mirror back on because it's got a cable that goes up in the dash, so I'm not pulling that mirror completely off. And uh, we're well underway here. So please touch my like thingy. And subscribe, damn it!